28. It's a quiet evening at home. Beverly is making pork chops. I'm sitting in my chair trying to read as the dogs play a spirited game of King of the Mountain on my lap. Just then the phone rings. I pick it up, and it's Orson Welles. Marty, we're egging Harry Cohn's house tonight. Are you in? And I give him a hail and hearty, hell yeah! Let me backtrack. I had spent most of the previous year working with Orson on the lady from Shanghai and watching Orson Welles, who was one of the few geniuses working in film, deal with a tasteless bore like Harry Cohen turn his film into guitar picks? Well, they say that you make an omelet, you have to crack a few eggs, and it was time to cook up a bastard omelet. So I tell Beverly to Tupperware my chops, and she sends me off with a peck on my cheek, a slap on my ass, and a give the son of a bitch an egg for me on her lips. Beverly had worked briefly at Columbia and had to sidestep Harry Cohen's wandering hands a few too many times. So I get to Cohen's estate, and I find him with a number of Lady from Shanghai crew members and some of the Columbia contract players, including Mo Howard and Larry Fine. Champ Howard couldn't make it because he had tennis elbow. Orson ran the egging like it was D-Day. He had gotten us all ski masks to cover our features, and he had gotten eight crates of eggs for ammo. He then set us up in different positions around the house for maximum spread. As soon as we got into position, Orson yelled, Fire! And we unleashed Yoki Hell! Within 90 seconds, we had managed to coat Harry Cohn's house in a thick layer of egg and shell. Suddenly, Cohn comes out the front door and starts bellowing, What the devil is going on out here? And Orson, with a throw that would have put Dizzy Dean to shame, managed to nail Cohen right between the eyes. Someone yelled, Jeez it, and we all bolted. Several minutes later, we gathered just outside of Musso and Frank's. Orson thanked us for a job well done, recited the St. Crispin Day speech from Henry V, and divvied up the remaining eggs. In honor of the battle, Beverly created a special omelet filled with spinach, mushrooms, bacon, Swiss cheese, and thin strips of steak. Orson came over for lunch and immediately approved of Beverly's culinary creation. Word later filtered down that Cohen was so enraged that he swore he would hunt down the perpetrators until his dying day. And I never completely relaxed until ten years later when the son of a bitch finally died and his funeral was attended by all of Hollywood, leading Danny Kay to say, Give the people what they want, and they'll come out in droves. So here's an important life tip. Live your life in a way that you don't get sassed-mouthed at your funeral. <laughs>